So I just um, just wanted to share just a little bit and um, kind of you know how this came to be and which I've kind of started on, and we we really wanted to develop and I wanted to develop a place where as patients came in, they felt the healing process start as soon as they stepped in the door. We felt that even if all they did was come in and make an appointment, by the time they left and walked out, they would feel a little bit healthier, a little bit better. Um, just from walking into our clinic. And so we tried to design a clinic that would be open, there would no, be no barriers between the patients and the practitioners, that everything, for better or for worse, is all out there for everyone to see. Um, we wanted to have the ability to look through the clinic and see activities going on. And so um, we, we feel really fortunate that we've been able to develop that kind of a design. And then the other thing that we really wanted to do is, is as a patient came into the system, came into our center, that then we could have multiple avenues and practitioners and modalities to look at, treat, and help a particular patient. I know that I have limitations to what I know and what I can do, but together as a team, wow, I have so much more that I can offer somebody in the healing process. And any of you who have had chronic illnesses, or of taking care of patients with chronic illnesses, it's not a 10 to 15 minute uh, uh, approach that's gonna get you better. It takes a lot of time and a lot of effort. So we wanted to design our practice in a way that we, our practitioners could spend a little more time and that we would have other resources, other ways of thinking about things, looking at things, so that there may be things that I'm missing that Dr. Hazen picks up on, I did miss somebody on our team. She's not here. That's Dr. why I missed her. Dr. Modab. Yeah. Lisa Modab. Well, I'm sure she, she invited somebody. I'm not sure, I'm not sure why she's not here. But anyways, um, our naturopath. So, but you know, having all of these different practitioners who have expertise in their own field be able to look at and identify aspects and problems that we can work on and fix. And so that's really what the, the center of our uh, practice is, it's what our mission is, is that we wanted to be able to reach and take care of patients individually and in a unique way that's unique to them and help them in this journey, um, this process that's going to take a long time. I just recently visited with an integrative medicine doctor in San Diego who wrote a book with one of his patients. It took 23 years for him to finally be cured of his chronic illness. Wow. 23 years. So this is not a simple journey, but if it hadn't been for a doctor like Dr. Shima and for other multiple practitioners that he had seen in his journey, he would still be disabled, not able to work, and he's, and he's a lawyer. He, he, he got his, his law degree and within a year after finishing the bar became disabled. Mm -hmm. because of his chronic condition. Now he's back working, 23 years later. So it's, it's, a, it's a process that takes a long time, and that's, that's really what we try to develop. And so one of, the way, one of the tools that we use is something called functional medicine. Some of you may have heard of that, some of you haven't. And the functional medicine model is that we look at patients in a holistic way. And the goal is to not just look at the signs and symptoms, which are reflective of the outward appearance of it, but what's going on at the roots of, of the tree? What's going on inside the person at the cellular level? What's their genetic makeup? What's their environment that they live in? What have they been exposed to? How do all of these things affect them so that when we look at it, we're not looking at just compartmentalized and, oh, this is this is a neurological problem, let's send them to a neurologist. This is a cardiology problem, let's send them to a cardiologist. We're looking at them holistically and saying, okay, how does, the, how does their heart relate to their brain and what's going on with their ovaries and their thyroid and their intestinal tract and how do all of these things, how do we get them back in balance so that the whole system works well? Trees, when they have yellow leaves, it's not because they have a heart problem. Their heart may not be functioning as well. Their, their ability to transport nutrients to the, the, the leaves may be malfunctioning, but maybe they need more sunlight, which is an environmental issue. Maybe they're getting sprayed with something that's affecting them. So those are the things, that's the way that we're looking at patients. And it's a different mindset than traditional conventional medicine. 
And I know for the most part I'm speaking to the choir here because most of you already know all of this. Um, but that's but that's what our dream is, and that's what we're doing. And it's it's been so rewarding as a physician to be able to take care of patients in a way that really helps them change their lives to feel better. I, I, I've said this before, but you know, there's nothing more depressing for a physician than to have to write another prescription that you know is going to cause harm to some <coughs> aspects to that patient. Even though the benefits may outweigh those risks, there's still risks associated with that. And it's really disheartening in a 10 to 15 minute appointment to say, all I have to offer you is what's on this paper, even though I know there's more to be done. And so that's, that's why this center opened. Because a lot of people who had that same vision, that same dream, and wanted to make that a reality. And so I thank you all for coming tonight. I really appreciate it.